What's up everyone, it's your boy NoranRad89 here bringing you another review and you know what time it is. We are on to Psycho 4, that's Psycho 4 The Beginning, the fourth installment in the franchise and this is actually Anthony Perkins' last outing as the character for Norman Bates. So let's get into this, I'm going to let you know right off the top of the bat, I did really enjoy this film and this is actually a made for TV film and you know we're going to get into my positives, my negatives, the rating and then I'm going to send you all home. So let's do it. So Psycho 4 The Beginning is definitely a different flavor from the previous three films and I, oh, like I said I really enjoyed it. So let's get right into the positives right away and that's one key positive. It's a different flavor. It's tackled differently. The fact that it's a prequel and a sequel at the same time and the writers and directors are able to balance that nature in the film. I found that fascinating and all of Norman Bates, like all of his scenes with Fran, Fran Ambrose talking to the radio host, the DJ, it's I love the witty back and forth banter that gets tense and later in the film kind of like a negotiator type movie when she's like begging him to tell him stuff like it's just it's really cool and intense and then our prequel sequence stuff with Henry Thomas that plays young Norman Bates I think he's fabulous he feels a lot like Anthony Perkins and fits the character perfectly and add to that we have a cherry on top Olivia Hussey plays the mother of young Norman Bates and that's perfect because I'm a huge fan of Black Christmas the slasher from back in the day and man her scenes with Henry Thomas some of the best stuff is the prequel sequences in this movie add to that that this is Anthony Perkins last outing as Norman Bates and he is the most stable and best actor throughout all four of these films and I could easily tell you after re-watching and checking out some of these for the first time I think Norman Bates is probably the most three-dimensional slasher out there, the one that has the most depth to him and character development in his films easily. Because within these four franchise films, from where we start in Psycho in 1960 to where we are in 1990 in Psycho 4, the beginning, it's a huge character arc for Norman Bates. And like I said, we're really invested as fans by this time when we get to this fourth film. And I think this film has good direction and it. it really does. Like until we get to a certain point, like I said, we'll get into negatives until we get to that third act. But the first two acts are so good. I was invested in the way it's going through in the film and we're tackling it. It's a little bit of a mystery. I'm really like into the dialogue. I'm liking the prequel stuff, even though it's answers I didn't need. I'm still enjoying the prequel stuff. So yes, those first two acts, were amazing and like I said I was very surprised by that being a made for TV film you really can't tell that in this film the way they tackle it and the way the director does certain things they're really smart about using their money in good ways and I like that aspect of the film it shows that their creators are pretty smart that way and you know the cinematography is still there it's not the best cinematography or camera work or nothing like that a lot of the other ones like I said when you have Dean Cundy like you have for Psycho 2 there's a lot other ones better and Alfred Hitchcock for other ones so but this film yeah still has a certain distinct flavor to it and I think being that you're at this fourth film it was the perfect time to do something a little bit different than the previous three. Now let's get into my negatives because this isn't a perfect psycho film. I did have some negatives with this film and one major negative is that third act. I feel like the third act stretches out a bit and you can feel like where the writers and directors were really kind of stretching out the that act for just maybe runtime or something like that. I just didn't hit hard for me. Like once we got to that third act, I felt like it wasn't as potent of a film as it was in the first act and the second act. I was much more invested in those two. And then once we got to that third act, yeah, I just felt it kind of stretching on it, dragging a little bit. And I was like, all right, we could we could end this. They're kind of playing with that. Will he, will he do it? Won't he do it kind of thing? Will he kill her? Like they play with that a little bit too much. But I also love the fact, I should have mentioned this in a positive, the fact that he is has a family in this one in the sequel kind of part where he has a wife and he's, possibly gonna have a child like it's cool that Norman Bates moved on to that that's another positive I should have mentioned that <laughs> but another negative though now bounce back to the negatives now another one for me is there's less kills in this movie and there is a reason why it's because of the story we're at the prequel and sequel stories where we're, he's not trying to kill people a lot and he hasn't yet in the prequel one so there's a reason why but there are less kills and you can like in the killing stuff you can feel the kind of TV movie budget type thing. But overall still in my book I had a 
blast with this film and this franchise in general, these first four films and breezing through them. I really did have an amazing time. And Psycho 4, the beginning, in my book, is going to get an 8 out of 10. Like, this is still a very solid watch and a strong film in this franchise. And in terms of these first four films, after watching them this time around, like, it just, I feel like for me, my enjoyment and everything, I have more enjoyment in this than in the Scream franchise. You know what I mean? And like, both franchises, don't get me wrong, are very strong. But I think Psycho is, very, is up there. This is a very consistent continuity franchise with a good actor at the helm of it and some great creators throughout all four films. But there's one more, a fifth film we're going to be getting on to next. That's Psycho, the remake, starring Vince Vaughn, Julianne Moore, Anne Heche, and William H. Macy. And oh man. Can't wait to get into this one because some people have mixed reviews on this one. Let's see where we'll land. Like I said, do, will I enjoy it? Won't I? Well, we're going to have to find out. You're going to have to stay tuned to the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And have that notification bell on so you're notified anytime I post a video. And have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.